we have another DOI project on hand and this time it will be my Glock 30 in 45 ACP. So we're gonna modernize this thing. This is a Gen 2. As you can see, there's no pick rail for a weapon light. It does have the finger grooves. And as you can see, also, I've already removed the front and rear sight. So we're gonna be installing a red dot on this thing. Waiting for the plate, waiting for the red dot. I do have the uh, recovery tactical rail adapter already. So again, we're gonna install that. And again, we're gonna modernize this old gal. She's quite a bulldog, actually. 10 rounds, as you can see, she is empty. So stay tuned. Okay, so we all know how restrictive YouTube has become, so that's not news anymore. So I can't show you the install part, but there it is. We have installed the pick rail adapter made by Recover Tactical. There it is, the GR30. All right, it's coming along mighty fine. Okay, we're back. And on this stage, we have installed the Olight PL Mini 2 on the G30. So we're coming along here. Okay, we're back. So here is the star, the headliner of this video, the dub plate. So let's take a closer look. See how thin that is? Now that's thin. Strength-wise, this is 17-4 stainless steel, black nitrided. Here's the integrated part of the plate, rear sight. And they include a tall or suppressor height sight, front sight. And this is for the Glock pistol lineup. And they also include fiber optic rods. So we're moving on to the final stages of this video. All right, we're just trying to show you each stage of the transformation. So here we are, the plate is now installed in the front sight. Just to give you an idea of how this is evolving. Looking good. Again, look how thin that plate is. Stainless steel, not aluminum. Okay, when it's all put together, this is what you end up with. Again, just my opinion, this will make a perfect truck gun, camping gun, hiking gun, etc., etc. So the next video will be, separate video, will be sighting this combination in. Another successful project. Thanks for watching.